So I've just gotten back from watching the Chinese 1.5 livestream for Genshin Impact and I'm extremely excited for this update. Everything looks so cool, but we're gonna talk about the two main attractions, the new characters, Yanfei, Ayula. I can finally mention those names without being sued by Mahoyo. So we're gonna talk about those two characters and the Zhongli versus Ayula banner. What kind of should you guys pull on? Now it's an interesting thing to talk about because both of these characters are extremely powerful. I mean, literally, we'll talk about the new artifact sets. They made, they made entire new artifact sets for them, and it's kind of crazy. So, if you guys do enjoy this, you want to help me, please feel free to sub because only 4.8% of people's reviews are subscribed. And I'm trying to do YouTube full time, and I need you guys' support to help me get there. We do day games about guys' discussions, gameplay. Yeah, we talk a lot about the game, so if you want to support me, then help me do this full time, always feel free to sub. So, let's get into it. So, I'm going to say straight up Yan Fei is going to be on the Zhongli rerun banner. Now, there's a bit of text in the live stream, which, of course, my uh, my big brain translated that, and the text matches up between the Zhongli banner. So, yeah, Yan Fei's gonna be on the Zhongli banner, which, as expected, because I didn't think they'll put two new characters on one banner, they'd probably split it out across two. And my biggest guess is, the Zhongli banner is gonna come first. Now, the thing that tells me that the Zhongli banner is going to come first is because the main story stuff for the 1.5 update is revolving around Zhongli, a new weekly boss, there's, uh, there's a new Zhongli story quest, and it make it make a lot of sense for Zhongli to be first, you know. A Eula will come second, most likely. If not, well, uh, I was wrong, but we're going to talk about both characters. So, Zhongli, amazing shield support. He's getting a new artifact set, which makes him one of the best in the game. He can shield. He can lower resistances of, of enemies. He does constant geo damage. He has one of the highest like damage bursts in the entire game if you build him correctly. He he gets even stronger with Staff of Homer if you got that. Well, you just put throw on him and you just insta win. Uh, what else can he do? You know, he can do a he can do a ton of things, right? And there's a new meta for building Zhongli. So before, all the people built like, maybe like two piece Archaic Petra, two piece in the Blessed Oblige, but now. In this new update, I will tab out to quickly see this. There are some new artifacts. So, so we have the new set, Tenacity of the Millilith. Now, this set is really good for Zongli because, first off, two piece HP plus twenty percent. Zongli's abilities do more damage the higher that you know the higher his maximum HP is. So, increase that by twenty percent. That's a free bit of damage right there. Free health. You know, really big on him. Now, four piece. Is even stronger as a, as a support because when an elemental skill hits an opponent, the attack of all party members is increased by 20%. So that's just a free attack increase, and their shield strength is increased by 30% for three seconds. Now, obviously, the thing with Zong Lee is that his pillars do constant geo damage, which means the proc for the four piece is going to always be active if that hits somebody. Of course, this effect can be triggered once every 0.5 seconds, but you got to remember that uh, he, he, you know, he's been doing it constantly, so he's just always going to be having that effect active. And it specifically says at the bottom, this effect can be triggered when the character who's using this artifact is not on the field. So, what it says about this is that Zhongli is going to be a monster to build. Also, you're going to get, you're, if you're pulling on Zhongli, you're probably going to get Yanfei. And I'm going to talk about Yanfei a tiny bit. She's a new Catalyst 4-star Pyro user. So, she's a Pyro Catalyst, a bit like Klee. In the t in the, only in the sense that they're both Pyro Catalyst users. Yanfei looks like she's going to be just a fun little DPS support character. And I think if you want to try out Yanfei, you might as well get her. She's a 4 star. You're probably going to get her when you're rolling. So if you want that new character, you roll on the Zongli banner, right? No doubts about that. Now we're going to talk about Iula. Now Iula is a physical cryo claymore user. She's got some very fast attacks that are really similar to Honkai Impact. I'm just going to throw that out there. But, yeah. She's a uh, waifu, and we've not had a waifu since Hu Tao, and that was like a month ago. So, new waifu time. Yeah, congrats everyone, we got one. But, the main thing is, she's going to be even stronger because, first off, she gets a whole new weapon, which, obviously, new weapon, it's probably built just for her, let's be honest. But that's what all the new weapons seem to be at this point. And, she also gets a new artifact set as well, which is the Pale Flame set, which increases your physical damage. Now, increase your physical damage. She's also a Cryo user that can inflict Superconduct, which decreases their physical resistance. And if you've got a Zhongli, you can also decrease their physical resistance even more. Yeah, you've got to start to see this add up a little bit. 
Oh, and also if, if you have a Zin Yan with like a C4, you can also decrease their physical resistance even more. Okay, yep, and that artifact set, so a four piece. Uh, when you hit an opponent with an elemental skill, your attack gets increased, so you do even more damage. And it stacks up to two times. But when you get two stacks, uh, you get an extra 25%. Well, actually, no, it looks like increased by 100%, so it looks like you get another 50% physical damage. Yeah, this started to look a very, very strong, you know. And I think if you guys want a fun, well, why, well first off, if you want a waifu, it'd be a pull for a Eula. Or Yanfei, you know, Yanfei's pretty cute, but if you want the uh, the Cryo Ice Waifu, then pull on the banner because she looks like she's going to be a fun main damage dealer for your team, if you want one. Of course, we're at this point in Genshin now where a lot of people have their main damage dealer set in stone, but if you want a new main damage dealer, then pull for a Eula. If you want a support character to help your main damage dealers, Go for the Zhongli banner over the Eula the, uh, one because you're going to probably get a lot of value out of having Zhongli as a support on your team. Other things I want to mention as well about Zhongli and Eula is what weapons they use. And it's pretty simple. Zhongli, you can throw on literally anything. Like, like I said, for a start of home one, you win. But like, how free to play friendly is he? Because obviously, I know we've got to support the free to play homies out there because I'm one of them, kind of. And. Zhongli, well, it's very simple what you build on him, right? You just throw on a energy recharge weapon if you want to build him as a support. You can throw on, like, you can throw on a Crescent Pike if you want to build him as a DPS, because you can play Zhongli as a DPS. A lot of people do, and it's quite fun if you do that. But the main thing is you want to throw on, like, a, an energy recharge weapon on him, and you, you win. And one of those weapons is, like, the prototype Star Glitter, and you get one of those from the Blacksmith, so that's pretty good. Now, a Eula, on the other hand, might be extremely easy to build because of the fact that there's weapons for it already. Now, you got two choices for it if you're free to play, and they're really simple ones. You got the Snow Tomb Star Silver. It gives you physical damage bonus, which uh, on a Eula, a physical damage dealer, from what it seems, that would be kind of crazy. And the other one is the Prototype Archaic, the free to play blacksmith weapon you can get at the start of the game that gives you attack percent, and it's one of the strongest claymores that you can get. Obviously there's other good weapons, you can get a Wolf's Gravestone, Wolf's Gravestone is good on any character, let's be honest. Tectone, I know you're out there, look, Wolf's Gravestone's going to be great for her, don't you worry buddy. you got like 20 of the things, but you can also throw on Energy Recharge if you want to run her as a support. I don't know how good she'll be as a support since she looks like she's going to be a, a big damage dealer. But yeah, that's about it for weapons, like artifact wise, very simple, and yeah, I feel like they're both fairly free to play friendly, so they're pretty good characters to have on your team. So yeah, let me know down below, what are you guys going to pull on this banner? Because I'm extremely hyped for this 1.5 update to the game, because not only do we get two new characters, we have we have the new like hangout events, we got, we got Noelle part 2, we got a Diona one, so whoever's, whoever in that stream chat the other day asked for a Diona hangout event, I hope you're happy now, you got what you asked for. Um, what else do we get? We got the, we have like a, a whole roguelike thing, we have the housing system, we have a new weekly boss, we got a Zongli story quest, we got, there's just so much content that they added, man, and I'm so excited, and I'm going to be covering it all in the next few days, so I hope you guys do enjoy this video, please feel free to sub if you want to support me out, and yeah, take care everyone, I hope you have a lovely day, and I'll see you all later.